Complete IELTS Bands 5 to 6.5 Workbook by Mark Harrison Published by Cambridge University Press This recording is copyright. Track 3 Unit 2 You will hear a speaker introducing a conference. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 1 to 10. Hello and welcome to the conference. As you know, it's called Health and Fitness in the Workplace and the name speaks for itself. We're here to discuss issues that can affect employees and, of course, therefore, the companies and organisations they work for. In planning the programme for this conference, we've taken into account the answers that you gave us in our questionnaires. Of course, some of the issues we cover will be more relevant to some of you than to others, but we think we've included all the main ones that you indicated are important to you. Now, the whole subject of health and fitness in the workplace is something that didn't get much attention not that many years ago. Companies and organisations focused purely on the jobs that people were doing, and any assessment of them concerned how well they were doing their jobs and how their work fitted into the overall operations of the organisation. Anything that might be regarded as a personal issue wasn't part of the company's relationship with its people. It was none of their business. Well, of course, that's all changed, and companies and organisations have come to realise that it's people's health and fitness are very much their business. And that's not just in the obvious ways, such as the number of days off sick that employees have. There are also psychological factors, and there is considerable evidence that a fit and healthy person does their job better than someone who doesn't maintain a good level of health and fitness. If you're emphasising these things at your workplace, you're creating an atmosphere that enables you to get the very best out of your people. We are very much hoping that our programme here at the conference will be both informative and entertaining. The emphasis here is going to be not so much on the theory, but on the practical side. What can you do in your roles to promote health and fitness in your workplace? Now, some of you may think you're already doing as much as you can, but I promise you that you're all going to learn something new. We've got speakers here who are going to tell you things you've never heard before. And you should leave here at the end of the conference with all kinds of ideas for things you can introduce at your workplace. But we're not going to be just talking to you and telling you things. One of the great things about an event like this is that it's a great opportunity to share information. So in every session there will be a slot for people to talk about their own practices and experiences. What initiatives have worked for you and which ones haven't been so successful? We can all learn from each other and that's one of the aims of this conference. OK, now let's move on to some details about the conference and what will be happening where. Let me just briefly take you through the map that you've all got in your welcome pack. Right. Here on the map, we've marked all the sessions that are taking place this morning, and you've already indicated which ones you'll each be attending. For those of you going to the session on setting up a fitness centre at work, you go out of the main hall 
Here, through those doors, turn right at reception and go along the corridor to the tailor room, which is on your left. You'll get lots of good advice there on the possibilities and costs of a workplace fitness centre. The talk on healthy eating schemes is in the Martin suite. For that, you need to go out of this hall the other way, through the doors at that end. And that takes you straight through to the Martin suite. If you're keen to introduce healthy eating schemes in your canteens and restaurants, or to improve ones you've already got, you'll get lots of really good ideas from that session. Now, those of you attending the session on transport initiatives, you're in the Fender Room. To get there, you need to go out of those doors that bring you out opposite reception. Turn left and left again into a corridor. The Fender Room is the third door on your right. The session will cover everything from how to encourage people to walk or cycle to work to car-sharing schemes. For those of you who have signed up for the workshop on running sports teams, that will take place in the Gibson suite. The whole issue of organising company teams, recruiting people for them, encouraging people to take part in them whatever their sporting ability, taking part in competitions, all that will get covered in the workshop. You'll find that if you go out of here, turn right at reception, and then right again. The first door you come to on the left is the Gibson suite. Finally, if you need any more information, or have any queries while the conference is going on, you'll find me in the conference coordinator's office. From here, that's to the left of reception, and along the corridor past the entrance hall. If you keep going along the corridor, you'll find my door at the end on your right. Please come and see me if there's anything you want to ask or find out. OK, let's get started. I hope that you all enjoy...